Hi Virgo, this is your tarot reading for the month of February. We'll have three separate spreads in this monthly reading. In the first spread we'll be looking at love and it could be new love, existing love, love from the past, whatever comes up. The second spread will be good news for you in February and the third spread will be an advice for you Virgo for the whole month. Please like, share and subscribe to support this channel. This first part is on love, Virgo. We have uh, the Ten of Cups clarified by the Page of Cups. We have the Page of Pentacles clarified by the uh, Ace of Pentacles. Uh, then we have uh, the Six of Wands. In the potential outcome, we have the Lovers with the uh, Wheel of Fortune and the Ten of Pentacles. And we also have the Knight of Cups on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with a uh, Water Sign, Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces. We also have Gemini, maybe a Sagittarius, or any Zodiac sign. For some of you Virgos, if you are already in a relationship with somebody, they will propose to you in February. So it, it's a bit of a spoiler alert. If this is a new person, there are certain circumstances, circumstances, how you could be introduced to one another, how you can get acquainted, but then it could definitely lead to marriage as well. There is marriage all over this spread, all over. <laughs> we start with the Ten of Cups, all the way to your left, clarified by the Page of Cups, and we end with the Ten of Pentacles right next to the deck. Okay, so if you're already in a relationship with somebody, there's going to be a proposal. The Ace of Pentacles and the Six of Wands, both are proposal cards. The Knight of Cups on the bottom of the deck could be a very romantic way that they're going to do it. For others of you, if this is a new person, yeah, you are going to tie the knot with this person. This person could be the love of your life. Okay, so I will f focus on uh, the scenario where this is a new person. But uh, just keep in mind if this is somebody who is already in your life, you're going to be proposed to. All right, so uh, the Ten of Cups, the first card I came out, the very first card I came out is a card of a commitment of marriage. All right, then it's clarified by the Page of Cups. So this is a new person coming to you. This is where the two of you could be meeting. For some of you, your parents could be introducing you to. That still happens. <laughs> that still happens more often than you think. For others of you, the Ten of Cups could be like a massive celebration. It could be an engagement party. It could be a wedding. It could be a housewarming party, a baby shower. It could be someone, someone's kid's birthday party. Perhaps you're a single parent and you're going to bring in your kid over. Uh, or something like that. Or perhaps if you don't have kids, it could be your siblings, kids, birthday party, or something like that. Whenever there is more than one page, whenever there is two or more pages, I always bring up children, right? And we have uh, children uh, jumping around in the Ten of Cups, right? So for some of you, it has something to do with kids. For others of you, like I said, you could be going to like a, an engagement party or waiting or an engagement or something like that. There could be like a massive family celebration, but it's Perhaps not only family members, but also friends are invited, right? The Page of Cups, clarifying uh, the Ten of Cups, if it's not a kid you're dealing with, then uh, somebody may invite you to go to one of those events, or you could be meeting somebody at that event. And uh, here comes the uh, second page, the Page of Pentacles, clarified by the Ace of Pentacles. Yeah, the Ace of Pentacles is no joke, especially together with the Knight of Cups on the bottom of the deck. <laughs> Right? The Ace of Pentacles often comes through as a proposal. If it's not a proposal in February, then uh, this is still somebody who is looking to settle down with you, somebody who is serious. Right? The, there is a pathway in the right bottom corner of that Ace of Pentacles. This is a pathway to new life. The Page of Pentacles, yeah, somebody is testing the waters with you, but they're looking to take it all away with you without the Ace of Pentacles, right? They mean commitment. That's what they're looking for. The Knight of Cups on the bottom of the deck is the most romantic, the most loving knight out of all four knights. Could also be a water sign you're dealing with, right? Then the Six of Wands in the middle is a card of victory, success. Back in the day, the Six of Wands used to be called the Proposal card, but this is also a card of feeling good about what's going on, right? This is how both of you will most likely feel. In the potential outcome, we have the Lovers with the Will of Fortune and the Ten of Pentacles. The Lovers could be a card of um, Gemini. It could be a card of a choice. But I think at this point, you're not really choosing whether you want to jump in or not with this person. I think at this point, point you already know. <laughs> you could be choosing your wedding venue with the Lovers, right? It's, it, since it, it is a card of a choice. But it's also a card of the love of your life. It's a card of a soulmate connection. It's a card of a twin flame connection, if you believe in twin flames. And uh, yeah, it could be the love of your life. 
The Wheel of Fortune could be a Sag you're dealing with, or it's taking it to the next level, right? It's the start of a cycle, but on the next level up, because it's in the potential outcome. And we end with the Ten of Pentacles, the second commitment on marriage card. The Ten of Pentacles is a rock-solid commitment on marriage, as a matter of fact. This is when people buy real estate together, they have money in the bank, they have children together, if that is still an option for them. So yeah, we're moving, we're starting with the Ten of Cups and ending with the Ten of Pentacles. You know, like I said, it's like, it's unavoidable. <laughs> You're going to tie the knot with this person. Virgo, really happy for you. Congratulations. Here's the good news for you, uh, Virgo, for the month of February. We have the Six of Swords, clarified by the Hermit, the Three of Cups, clarified by the Queen of Swords. We have the Wheel of Fortune and the Page of Cups on the bottom of the deck. The good news for you, Virgo, is that you're going to be invited to an Aquarius birthday party. <laughs> yes, that's, uh, that's the best way I can interpret this, right? It's like for 90% of you, uh, it will be an Aquarius birthday party. And uh, that's good news. I don't know if you want it to go <laughs> or not, but you will at least be invited, right? Uh, the Page of Cups on the bottom of the deck is an invitation, right? Uh, the uh, Queen of Swords clarifying uh, the Three of Cups in the middle, that's it. Uh, the Queen of Swords is an air sign, uh, Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius, right? And uh, we are right in the middle of uh, Aquarius birthday season, right? The rest of January and most of February, it's all Aquarius birthday season. The Three of Cups is a card of a celebration, and if this Queen of Swords is an Aquarius, yes, it's their birthday party. The Wheel of Fortune right next to the deck is the start of a cycle, right? It could be uh, since it's their year starting, new year starting for them, you know, it's their cycle starting. Or perhaps if you do go to this birthday party, somehow it will be a cycle for you, a new cycle, a very fortunate cycle. Right? And in the beginning we have the Six of Swords clarified by the Hermit. Yeah, that's you going. <laughs> the Six of Swords is you going to that uh, birthday party. And the Hermit is your major iconic card. So it's somehow it will turn out to be good news for you, uh, Virgo. Alright? Cool. Here's an advice for you, Virgo, for uh, the month of February. We have uh, the Ten of Swords, clarified by the Three of Swords. We have the Ace of Swords. Then we have uh, the Page of Pentacles, clarified by the uh, Six of Pentacles. And we also have the Eight of Pentacles on the bottom of the deck. i got to be honest with you, it's a bit complex as to uh, how this is going to play out. Because this is supposed to be an advice. <laughs> Right? Uh, we have that Eight of Pentacles on the bottom of the deck. It is a card of work, business, and finances. Okay? It is, and I think that's what this spread is about. This is, this is what this advice is about. We start with the Ten of Swords, clarified by the Three of Swords, and it's followed up by the Ace of Swords. So for some of you, if you have a job offer landing on your lap at some point in February, the advice for you is to take it. Okay? Even though your existing employer is going to be all broken hearted about it. Perhaps they count on you, perhaps they have uh, a project for you to finish, but the advice for you is to still take this um, new job. For others of you, if say at some point in the past you got fired, right? I'm not predicting you to be fired in February. If this is your scenario, then at some point in the past they let you go. Perhaps they're going to reach back out to you and they may offer you your old job back. Or they could determine that it was the wrongful uh, separation. And they may offer you a compensation or something like that. Right? The advice for you is to accept that as well. You don't have to. We have zero major account cards. But the, at some point you will be facing this this situation. Either a compensation or they want you to uh, they want you back from your old place or for some of you you may have a new job offer. Right? The Ten of Swords clarified by the Three of Swords. Again this is either you breaking heart of your existing employer and moving on or it could be something that happened in the past. Again they could have fired you or they could have let you go but uh, they're gonna be, you'll, you'll be hearing from them again. The Ace of Swords uh, in the middle, it could be either your decision to take this new job. Um, for others of you, the Ace of Swords, it could be coming from them wanting you back or wanting to compensate you. The Page of Swords clarified by the Six of Pentacles could be money coming your way. Or the Page of Pentacles could be paperwork. All right, For some of you, um, it could be like a sign-up bonus if you're starting a new job. For others of you, it could be compensation or re-sign-up bonus. Or if it is a compensation, 
um, that's the page of pentacles for you money coming your way for some of you it could be a structured payment plan right the page of pentacles could be simply one of the payments or the first payment all right so yeah i hope this makes sense it's a bit complex but uh, hopefully I, I was able to decipher it for you <laughs> Virgo. Alright, so uh, that's what I have for you for this reading for this uh, month. If this video resonates with you, please like it. Please also share and subscribe. And uh, other than that, Virgo, have an amazing February.